And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Chicago Cubs going up against the Atlanta Braves. John Shambi on play-by-play. -play. Chris Singleton providing the color. And, Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars in the sport. Ronald Acuna Jr., always exciting to see him in action. And it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. Yeah, Boog, it, it's offensively defensively when he's on the bases and this guy's just a heads up player but he's got so much talent and he makes the most of that I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away an at bat well he got into the eighth inning his last time out really pitching deep into games as of late we'll see today how many innings he's got in him. Dansby Swanson the leadoff batter as he swings through it for strike one that's in there no balls two strikes Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. Gets it to first, and a couple of quick outs. Here's Nico Horner. First pitch, and he just misses. Three straight gold gloves for Freed in 2020, 2021, and 2022. Yeah, he's got a ways to go to catch Greg Maddox, who had a total of 18 in his career, 13 consecutive gold gloves. Next offering is downstairs. Liner, base hit. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage runner, count. Runner, runner takes off. Pitch is low. Throw to second. Save! That was close, but StatCast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. One Such a threat on the bases. Corner at second with two down. Swing and a miss. One and the count, two one and two. Got him. Out number three. I think the key. Here's the veteran second baseman, Ozzie Albies. And a pitch. The other way. Fair ball. Now he'll turn for second. In there safely. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach, his head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. Here comes the 1 Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. And here it comes. In the air right field. Suzuki has a beat on it. And makes the grab. Runner tagging for third. And he's in safely at third with one out. Here's Acuna now. Right now with the fifth most RBIs in the NL. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. The pitch. Bounce to the left side. Swanson on the run. Sends it over to first. But it's 1-0 as the run scores. Here's Austin Riley. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy hits for contact, so he delivers average. But there's on-base and slugging, too. And there's a ball. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power. But then... If this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. This ball's chopped on the ground. Hosmer tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. That's the... Th Back at Truist Park, here's a big power threat. Mike Zunino. That one's in there. Strike one. Next offering is in for a strike. No well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. Line drive. And 
puts the squeeze on that and there's one down and now it's Eric Hosmer that right. one finds the zone and it's 0 and 1 Freed a former gold glove winner he features a four seam fastball a curb a slider a sinker and he works in a changeup the flip to the pitcher covering and a couple of quick outs on the ground to the left Riley now the throw to first on the run and that is that back here at the ballpark and now Matt Olson up to hit the pitch and ball oh. one one ball no strike drilled in the air right field way back there and that is out of here Matt Olson goes deep home run number 45 of the year and they tack on to their lead it's two nothing job of anticipation there he knows he throws the sinker that one down in the zone you're trying to beat it to the spot it's getting to well he won and now it's Travis Darno with the play up the middle on the run throw to first gets the catcher by a step good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for ball on the ground nice ground out Marcelo Zuna at the plate and takes high there pitch is in there that's strike one Next offering is fouled back. And the pitch. And another oh. ball. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball, you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. The punch out there, that's the second out. Michael Harris, next up for the Braves. Out towards right center field. Suzuki has a beat on it. Makes the play, and it's out number three. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now a 2-0 ball game. Back after this on the show. And welcome back. New inning getting started. Here's the left fielder, Trey Mancini. That's in there. That's strike one. Chris, you know what they call Mancini. Boom, boom. That's right. For Ray Mancini, the famous boxer, it stuck when he started hitting home runs, though, in baseball. Spoils a two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Yeah, good power hitter on the field, but a really good human being off the field. And, in fact, in 2021, he was named the AL Comeback Player of the Year after beating stage three colon cancer in 2020 and became a real inspiration to many around the league. Brennan Davis in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Out to short, Arcia whips it to first on the run. Two up, two down. Well, a well-thrown slider like that one can be tough to get in the air. Good downward break on that one. Swanson stands in here tried to hold back his swing there but went around and he's down 0 2 as he swings through it got him and good work there as he gets a one two three welcome back ready to go for the last half of the inning so now to the plate for Atlanta Orlando Arcia First offering misses the mark. Steel measures six feet two inches, 27 years old, and he was a fifth round pick back in 2014. Not showing great command so far in this at bat. 2 0 count. He's got to execute here, or this could get ugly. 
And it's through for a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Albies, oh. the next to hit, takes ball one. Oh, no. Popped up. Swanson makes the grab, one down. And now the D.H. Vaughn Grissom fly to right his first time. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. He circles the bases. His 18th home run of the season. It's 4-0. Singy, this is a little bit of a surprise. A guy known for line drives hits one over the fence. Well, if you're a little too early, you'll get some elevation in the ball, get out of the ballpark. For him, it's kind of a mistake. But you know what? When you have such a good approach, every now and then you're going to run into one. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Grounded out to short in his first trip. And that one is lifted in the air. Corner. Has this one sized up? He's got it, and there's two away. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run, not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. On the ground to third, and he grabs it in foul ground. Riley goes six feet, three inches, 25 years old, and he's a former oh, Silver do. Slugger recipient in the National League. Deal two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. And this is inside. And now it's Three even up. The pitch. Swing and a ball popped up. Hosmer on the move. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. That is the inning. Braves pick up two on the long ball. It's now a 4-0 ball game. You're watching Atlanta Braves baseball on the show south. All set for the start of the inning. Here's Nick Madrigal. He swings and fouls one off. Next offering is in for a strike. No ball, two strikes. In the air to left center. Harris after it. Makes the grab after a long run. And there's one down. Corner batting for the second time. And that's strike one. one. Up the middle. Albies. Fires to first on the run. Two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. So up now for Chicago, Patrick Wisdom. And yeah, that's in there for strike one. Wisdom, a former first-round pick of the Cardinals back in 2012 from St. Mary's College, same school that produced both Corbin Burns and Tony Gonsolin. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. There was nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. Yeah. That was ripped, caught out in front, and... Didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. Wisdom, the runner at first with two gone. Hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. Back here in Atlanta, bottom of the fourth, and now the first baseman, Matt Olson. Steele, back to work. To the right side. Takes it himself, one up, one down. Travis Dardo. Next up for the Braves. Off the mark nope, there. Ball one. Ball. Ball. 
Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. I think he was sitting off speed there. And strike two. A one-two one, count. All he's seen is fastballs. You've got to expect something off speed. Stay back. And now the count is even. Lined, and that's a base hit. Man at first. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Ball one, oh. no strikes. One ball, no strikes. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Next pitch is outside. One. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. And that one fouled off. Next offering is fouled back. On the ground, a short could be two. To second, there's one. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. Back at Truist Park, ready now for the fifth inning. So up now for Chicago, Eric Hosmer. Ground ball right side. And he picks it up, and he'll put it in his pocket. On the ground to third. To first. And a quick out number one. Now it's going to be Seiya Suzuki. Ground ball left side. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. He doesn't have a throw, and they come away without an out. Trey Mancini now. And it's fouled away. you one. And fouled off. Suzuki, the base runner at first with one out. On the ground, two ball. Arcia over to second. And it's a double play to end the inning. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Michael Harris. And a pitch. There's a strike. You know, these Braves doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. One thing that really stands out to me is how they've only struck out one time. That's good discipline right there, and on top of it, they're producing more than a hit per inning. Going to count one and two. one, two. All those numbers mean this offense is really making the defense work by just putting the ball into play. Anything can happen at that point. That's, That's off the mark. Two balls, two strikes. And a swing and a miss. One down. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Arcia at the plate now as he chases after that one. Bullpen action for the Cubs. Hayden Wisniewski throwing and getting ready for David Ross. Oh, and two. Sampson getting loose as well. This guy's sink has so much drop in it. It's almost like a split finger fastball. Instead of just weak contact and balls on the ground, he gets swings and misses. And a pitch. That one misses. Now one and two. And that's down and away. Two two. Two two down. Swing and a ball popped up, and it drops in, and that turns the lineup over. Here comes the manager. A new arm into the game, the righty Hayden Wisniewski. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say, spin rate. Beats the second out there. Throw to first, but he beat it. Vaughn Grissom next up for the Braves. He's already homered here in this one. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1-0. 1-0. Oh. Oh. 
on a line out towards center. Davis pulls it down and he makes the catch. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. There's a strike. Davis measures six feet even, 210 pounds, and he was a second round pick back in 2018. Albies over to first in time. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Swanson in the box now. No balls and a strike. 0 and 1. Bounce to third. And that's just oh. foul. Dansby Swanson, this is a guy who kind of had a target on his back. Number one overall pick out of Vanderbilt. People were expecting him. Dives and he can't hang on. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. One down. Now it'll be the Cubs DH. Nick Madrigal. Yeah. There's a strike. Swanson with an outstanding career going, at Van. Runner on the goal. Bounced up the middle. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Corner stands in now and watches strike one. Slapped foul. Swanson over at second. Magical at first. One gone. Got him swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. And now here is Patrick Wisdom. In there and it's 0-1. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Two on, two outs. Right side, hard hit. Tosses to first, and that is that. So bottom of the sixth inning. Now in for the Braves. Ronald Acuna Jr. Wisniewski back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Wisniewski, 25 years old, and he was a sixth round draft pick back in 2019. And the next pitch is one, way one. outside. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Adbert Alzali appears to be getting loose. Thompson getting cranked up as well. Two, that one. misses. Two balls and a strike. Yeah, that's outside. Three, one. Three, one, and he couldn't come up with it. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. Acuna runs. Strike in there. Safe at second, and he easily steals the bag. When your catcher's not a great thrower, you have to do a better job at controlling the running game, and that's throwing over, that's stepping off, doing whatever you can to try to keep that base stealer's rhythm off. Well, they weren't able to do it right there. They're going to have to make some type of adjustment, or guys are going to be running all game. Steal, Runner steal. on the go again. That's in for a strike. Throw, save. Zanino not in time with the throw. When a guy's got that kind of lead at second base, somebody's got to call a timeout. Pitcher's got to step off. The catcher's got to ask the young for time or something. You can't let him get out that far when you don't. In the air, out towards right center. Davis settles under it and makes the catch. Runner tagging from third. The throw is offline, and he's in to score. It's 5-0. In that situation, you're looking to get something up in the zone that you can put in the air. Worst case scenario, a sacrifice fly to drive in that runner from third. Olsen, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. He didn't want to give up that run, but he did. Got the fly ball, sack fly out. Now it's time to attack these other guys. Get your team ball. back in the dugout. Good eye right there. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Tap dances out of the way of that one. Next offering upstairs. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They got him working hard out there. Swing and a miss, and he got him. 
Two down. Travis Darno getting ready to hit. One for two. Base hit center field. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Right there does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Now the left fielder, Marcelo Zuna. Swings and misses. No ball. That's strike. strike one. Ozuna, multi-time All-Star, 32 years old. He's been on a terrific run at the plate, hitting over 350 in his last 10. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Top of inning number seven, here's Mike Zanino. That catches the zone for a strike. 0-1. On the ground. Throw on to Olsen, and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. And that one pulled foul. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low. Throwing the ball very well right now. And puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. Seiya Suzuki, the next cup to hit. Strike one. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. 0 oh 2 now. Hit hard, base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Really nice job of two strike hitting in that at bat. He got that front foot down and pitch recognition was on point. Pretty impressive oh for an 0-2 count. Mancini at the plate with two away. Ah. Swings through that one. <laughs> on a line, base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Brennan Davis, the next to hit. And downstairs. That's the third. And it stays fair. Suzuki around third. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. There's something about pulling one down the line and shooting it through the infield that's just so satisfying as a hitter. It's just fun turning on a pitch like he did right there. Dansby Swanson is going to get a chance to hit. That's right. in there, and that is strike one. Oh and one. Good eye right oh. there. Mancini, the lead runner out at second. Davis on at first with two down. One ball, two strikes. On the ground right side. They get the force. Third out. Two. Set for the last half of the seventh. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Michael Harris. First pitch nope. just misses. And that should be extra bases. Makes the turn. He's digging for second. Makes it safely. It's a leadoff double in the bottom of the seventh. Well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up, gets into scoring position. Now, there are several ways that they can get this run across. Here's Orlando Arcia. Oh, that hits the dirt, and that's ball one. Wisniewski picks over. Oh, Harris dives back in safely. Swing and a miss. One ball, one and the count one and one. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. Runner leads away at second. Runner takes off for third. Cut on and miss. Zanino throw. Got him. I never really liked trying to steal third base when my teammate's up there and he's got two strikes. You know he's got a battle, he's got to bear down, but in his vision, he sees you take off and everything gets a little more exciting a little quicker 
and he may swing at a pitch that's not in the strike zone. Right there, strike out and throw out at third. That's just really one disappointing. Next offering in the dirt. And the count even one and one. And that one is oh. inside. Two and two. Swings and misses. Couldn't catch up to the heat. We go to the eighth, and here's the DH for the Cubs. Nick Madrigal. In yeah. there at the knees for a strike. Freed into his eighth inning of work, Singy. He's been good. Yeah, he's the type of guy that gets better as he gets deeper into the ball game. If you're going to get to him, you get to him early. They didn't that do is. that today. We'll see what happens as this finishes. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Corner. Yeah. Batting with one down, takes a strike. Swing and a miss. That is no strike ball. two. Strike. Pitch count in great shape. It seems you might have a chance to finish it. That's hard hit in the line. Harris tracks it down for the out. Shoots a line drive single into right center, and that keeps the inning alive. So two down, and here is Mike Zunino. They take the force out, and that'll do it. And welcome back. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Now the number two hitter, Vaughn Grissom. Line drive, Swanson. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. This guy has turned into a beast. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Just missed. No, that missed. That's the ball. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Puts the squeeze on it, and there's two away. Austin Riley digs in now. On the ground to third. Play made, that ends the inning. Braves go to. All set to start the ninth in this one. Here's Hosmer. That pitch gets the inside corner. Going one. Ball one there. Kicks and fires. Out to short, Arcia. Now one gone in the ninth. So up next, Seiya Suzuki. First offering, and it just misses. Line drive. And that should be extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. Pulls in with a double third hit for him today. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. He didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Sends it across the first. Cubbies with only one out left. So it's their last chance in this one. And now the center fielder, Brennan Davis. Here comes a the pitch. They're down to their final strike. And down on strikes. And that'll do it. It seemed like from the first pitch of this ball game, this guy was going to get it done. A quality start, who knew? He'd throw a complete game and get the victory. But an excellent job of continuing to just throw what the catcher put down. He navigated through this ball game, a jam here, a jam there. But ultimately, it was an outstanding outing. 5-1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.